guess what? It's Sweden week. <laughs> finally, <laughs> I've been talking about this, I think, for like a month now. And I have finally got finally got my act together enough to be able to come up with seven songs that uh, are all based on artists from Sweden. I'm excited about that. I had originally done this. I don't know if you were with me. Gosh, it was going to be three, four months ago. I did a Norway week. And that went over really well, and everyone liked it. And at the time, I mentioned that if there were other countries that you're from and that you're interested in having your country uh, on the focus, if you will, for a week, let me know, and I'd be glad to do it. And sure enough, Sweden popped up, and I thought that was going to be a really good idea. So unfortunately, with work and everything, I got a little backed up, and I wasn't able to do it. But this week, finally, I've been able to squeeze some time in and record these videos and get these out to you. So starting today, Monday, and then going through Sunday, yes, I'll even put one out on a Sunday, I'm going to be doing seven songs where all the artists are from Sweden. So I'm really excited about that. Today, as number one, uh, we're going to be listening to uh, Sisters from Sweden. Uh, they're a Swedish folk duo called First Aid Kit. I've heard of the band. Honestly, I know nothing about them. I've I just searching through music. The band First Aid Kit came up, and I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you. The name was so odd that it just didn't sound all that exciting. So I just moved on. But I'm told that they're really good. I believe their names are Johanna and Clara. I think. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's their name. And like I said, they're sisters. And the song I'm going to be reacting to is Emmy Lou. I did a little bit of research on it, and it's about, which is kind of odd, it's about singing with someone you love, uh, even if you can't stay or be with that person. Interesting. Then kind of an odd. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of pressure when you sing with people, so I kind of get it. You might love the person, but you just can't sing with them. I just can't sing. So <laughs> Emmy Lou. <laughs> And whatever. Emmy Lou is obviously referring to Emmy Lou Harris. And from the background that I know of her, she wanted to profess her love, if you will, to Graham Parsons. Uh, Graham Parsons had his own solo career, and for a while he was also with the band The Birds. But before she could tell him how she felt about, uh, you know, her deep, serious, romantic uh, feelings with him. He died of an overdose while on vacation in Joshua Tree. Really kind of sad to for someone to leave you and you were never able to uh, tell him what you felt. They were really sad. Um, as a side note, though, the video was shot at Joshua Tree out of respect for him and, and them. And the song also references another loving couple, Johnny Cash and June Carter. So I... Always love Johnny Cash. So any song that even references Johnny Cash has got to be good. From what um, they've said uh, about the song, the song references the singer's own rel relationships and the power of music. And I think the song was from like 19 or 2012, which makes me about 10 years late <laughs> reacting to the song. But I eventually get to it. So to start off Sweden Week... Uh, it's going to be first aid kit. So I'm excited about that. So let me get my headphones on and we're going to start this thing off. Okay. Hold on. Okay. We are back. Um, it's good to be back into another country. I actually bought a t-shirt that says Sweden, but the darn thing hasn't come in yet. So I'm hoping that by the time I finish these videos that, uh, I'll be able to sport my Sweden shirt. <laughs> the things I do to create an atmosphere for you guys is just nuts, isn't it? Okay, so once again, this is First Aid Kit singing Emmy Lou. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. Here we go. Very country. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this sound. It's you I find like a 
lyrics are awesome. Okay, looks like a good place to break. I think I actually found a good place to stop. <laughs> what are the odds of that? I never do it right. Wow. For a band that I really didn't like their name, um, this is pretty nice. They're a little more country, and I thought I was, I was kind of expecting a little more folk, and there is a difference. A little more country than I thought, but that's fine. I like country music. And wow, the sound of their combined voices is uh, beautiful. Their sound, I, I noticed it right away with the vocals, reminded me a little bit of a band called, and I, you probably have never heard of them, but they're called The Wind and the Wave. I actually had an opportunity to see them live in Chicago once, and they were amazing. The Wind and the Wave has a male and a female. These are, are both females, but either way, the lead vocal part um Really kind of similar voices. You should check them out. They're really good. Um, First Aid Kit definitely has more of a, a folky country edge, where the wind and the wave had a little more rock edge to them. So that there are some differences. But again, they do sound a little bit alike. Um, they've got these glorious harmonies, don't they? And the two voices are kind of like entwined in the melody. They when they sing together, it's I don't want to say they sound like one because they don't, but they are so spot on with their vocals that it kind of seems like one voice just with two sounds. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. That's what's going around in my head, so we're going to stick with it. Um, but bottom line, there's no doubt that these two voices belong together. I've mentioned in an earlier video because I did touch upon this that, in my humble opinion. <laughs> siblings that sing together create a more unique and magical sound that you won't get otherwise. This is just my opinion, but um, I think these two girls totally proved my point about that <laughs> because I really do think together they create this magical sound. I just think that sibling voices mix together better. I don't know. That's just my thought. We're going to have to Dump, dump some money into some research on that one. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and play this to the end because I'm just rambling now. I guess I'm just really excited I finally got to Sweden Week. So here we go. Johnny T. 
Love it. Little darlings and me. I'll be your Emmy Lou and I'll be your June and you'll be my Graham and my Johnny too. No, I'm not asking much of you. Just sing, little darling, sing with me. Just sing. Really, really nice. Okay, um, any song that has what's that? What's the guitar? Is it a slide guitar or steel guitar? That's it. Any song that has a steel guitar, I just love because I was big on like Merle Haggard and George Jones and their country music. And man, you wouldn't get a tear until that steel guitar came out. Especially, uh, just thinking about it just breaks my heart, especially since I lost my dad. But uh, George Jones singing, He Stopped Loving Her Today. Oh, songs are just amazing. If you ever are in the mood for a cry, listen to He Stopped Loving Her Today. Listen to the words. I guarantee you, you'll be crying. I guarantee you. <laughs> um, from what I understand, let's get to the what's at hand here, Bob. From what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the sisters wrote this song based on inspiration about learning from these couples, meaning uh, Emmy Lou and Graham and Johnny and June. What's amazing to me about that is they were both very young at the time. For two people at such a young age to recognize traits uh, like these couples and write such inspiring lyrics and song is really amazing to me. I never reached that level of creativity ever, even at an older age. So this YouTube channel is probably the most creative thing I've ever done, except maybe writing my book. That was pretty good. And for, for these girls to be able to present these wonderful and meaningful lyrics in such a beautiful way with their magical voices is such a special thing to listen to and just appreciate. I can see myself falling in love with this band. Why I, you know, it was just the name. I couldn't get past the name. But anyways, good. Let me get my headphones off. And I'm going to be back for my final thoughts. Hold on. All right. We are back for final thoughts. Uh, Sweden, you are off to a good start here on Sweden Week. It's only Monday, and there's already a band that could be, at some point, one of my more favorite bands. Wonderful sound. As I mentioned in my introduction, the shout outs and the references to the likes of the Cashes and then Emmy Lou and Graham are just beautiful. And wow, for, like I said, for a young couple of girls to recognize that is just astounding to me. It's such a nice thing to witness these young artists giving a nod to. Uh, people like that, who I think were truly, and still is, because I mean, Lou is still around, just um, amazing, wonderful people. And it's such a great tribute to these iconic couples. I think it really shows us what kind of uh, people these sisters are. They obviously have good hearts. They have good head on their shoulders, because they wouldn't be writing lyrics like this, or even referencing anything similar to this. So that's impressive. And that is on its own something that really draws me to to them the fact also that they created this video at joshua tree makes it all that special in in my eyes um again i think that emmy lou is still alive at least I, i'm sure she is um i wonder if they've ever been able to play this song to her i'm sure that she would be impacted by that and she, she would probably be blown away I don't know if Emmy Lou gets around much anymore. I honestly don't know. I don't even know how old she is. I know she was big when I was younger, and my dad liked her a lot, so I'm going to guess she's pretty old. I don't know. The The lyrics, especially the first verse, I had made comments of those were amazing. And before I went into final thoughts, I did print some of those lyrics right from the beginning, and I wanted to, to uh, say these. I just think they're really interesting. 
It says, uh, oh, the bitter winds are coming in, and I'm already missing the summer. Stockholm's cold, but I've been told I was born to endure this kind of weather. When it's you, I find, like a ghost in my mind, I am defeated, and I gladly wear the crown. Those are just great. I could never write lyrics like this, ever. I could do roses are red, violets are blue. That's all I can tell you. That's the extent of my lyrics. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know, I'm really envious of people who can have a thought and a feeling and an emotion and put it into words. That's not an easy thing to do. Fortunately, the book that I wrote, I didn't have to do any of that. It was more just documenting things. So um, two really talented people. Um, I, again, I'm just not sure how how they came up with these at such a young age. And it's one thing to be able to sing at a young age. It's quite another to be able to write lyrics as deep as these. Um, ugh. This is definitely a band that I'm going to be digging quite a bit deeper into in 2023. So if you have other recommendations of songs that they sang, please let me know, because I definitely will be following up on that. Okay, guys, that finishes and concludes Sweden day number one. I was going to say Sweden week, but it's day number one. We got six more to go, and like I said, we're off to a good start here. All right, if you liked my video, please like and subscribe, and if you would also click that notification bell, that way you'll be notified anytime I come out with some new content. This was fun, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the week, and I hope you guys are along on the ride. So you guys have a good day. Peace out, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.